All right, this is the update. What was actually leaking was uh, the feed line, half-inch feed line, into the um, fuel pressure regulator. Also, the joint from the white tape to, let me see. I put the tape here. I figured it would be easier to show. Wow. Well, anyway, you see where my finger is turning this joint, this two-piece? It's leaking from in the middle. So, apparently, this needs to be replaced. I mean, it's pissed out so much fuel, I couldn't believe it. But I guess it's all about fuel pressure. Okay. This is what I've done. Fuel pressure regulator, mechanical on the hood. It's temporarily out of order. I'm just gonna get the new line uh, from the same place, uh, Turbo Regal, TR Regal Customs, if I'm not mistaken. The same place I got the hood mount, uh, I'm sorry, the hood mount mechanical fuel pressure gauge bracket. Same company sells this line, it looks beautiful. It curves at a perfect 90 degree angle when it comes from in back of the um, Mechanical uh, fuel pressure gauge on the hood. It looks nice. A few guys hit me up on Facebook uh, with photos, etc., and a link to actually uh, purchase it. But it's a shame I didn't see that um, when I bought my uh, bracket. And I mean, I searched that entire site. Well, apparently, I didn't search good enough. All right, at this point, hood mount fuel pressure gauge temporarily deleted. I'm using that port for the. Uh, Mechanical fuel pressure gauge that I um, had under hood earlier and the thing is the, the size for this the fitting for this Does not fit into the Harley fuel pressure regulator. I Thought they were all universal, but apparently I thought wrong All right, what I'm gonna do at this point give the fuel switch a toggle and see what happens <sighs> yeah still leaking out the back small leak. What made me look is that it doesn't say 7 PSI. That's how I always know I have a fuel leak. So anyway, I'm going to take care of this and resume the video. Everything's dry. Ugh, but check it out. The electric fuel pump is not engaged as of yet. I'm going to turn that on now. pump sound like that. I'm almost out of fuel. Just making sure. Gotta fondle everything aggressively. Right now, how much fuel pressure? Still, oh, the same seven. Seven PSI. Wait a minute. No, it's on the six PSI mark. I don't have my glasses on. Six, yeah, why is it saying six PSI? And I suppose I have seven. Oh, huh? let me check for a leak under. early this morning with no breakfast no nothing I'm beginning to feel weak just like my uh, electric fuel pump sounding weak it's got to be running low in fuel I'm gonna check the fuel level and I got no damn leaks under here oh, it's dry 
is pie. No, pie is not dry. Life's cold. So no, no more uh, mechanical fuel pump. It's only an electric fuel pump. Carter supplying my fuel. Let me shut this pump off. I don't want it to get messed up. The low end fuel. Oh yeah, you see? I always can tell. Well, you know how they say you know your car. Yeah. Once I get the line for this bad boy here. I mean, I had to actually apply um, WD-40 for like 10 minutes, two different applications of it to get the um, the lines loose. Uh, from where is that shit again? Where did I put it? Oh, it's over there. Yeah. But anyway, so far so good, thank God. Uh, I just saved myself at least $150 with the work I just did, thank God. Um, all I got to do is uh, get the Tyrones for him to uh, rebuild a tranny and put my new converter. Everything else is done. Fuel. I'm ready. Drag radios in the garage here. Where's Eric the Bold? All right. I'm out here stalling just to meet up with him. All right. That's it for now. Everything's great. And I thank you guys very much. Um, I forget the gentleman's name. It told me on V8 Buick that I can easily just bypass the mechanical fuel pump. That's what I did. Um, I thank you guys very much. Eric the Bold, Johnny Lark, Eric the Bold, who's the ring leader. All right, that's it. So far, so good.